Hey guys, it's me, Verilyn. It's 11.32 p.m. and I mistakenly deleted this video. Um, I wanted to move it onto my desktop and I mistakenly hit the X. So I really don't have enough energy to do the same thing all over again. <laughs> I mean, I want to. I started off by talking about how I went my day, right? So I went to the gym this morning with Inga as usual and we did the whole breakfast thing. She made a green smoothie um, for me. And by the way, like anytime you guys want to see pictures of stuff, I always Instagram. So if you ever want to see what I'm talking about as it happened in a sense, when it happened, you can just go to my Instagram, which is Miss Verilyn. So I think it's like Instagram.com slash Miss Verilyn. Um, so yes, I, so she made the green smoothie for me. And then after that, we took a walk to the natural hair store that my aunt told me about. And I got everything I wanted in the budget that I wanted to. I wanted to spend no more than, more more than $75. And I spent $61. And I didn't get any repeats. So that was important to me too, because I didn't want to have too many different types of things. Um, so... I can't believe I'm doing this over, but anyway. <laughs> so I got the Jane Carter like I wanted to. This is what I used to twist my hair this time. And it was $18.99, as you can see. And I also got a smoothing gel by As I Am. It's, um, I wanted something that wasn't too watery, but that also looked like gel and didn't have alcohol in it. So that was this. I got the co-wash that everyone is always talking about. Also, as I am. All this stuff smells so good, by the way. Uh, mm, right, mm, so good. Um, $7.99. And, like, to me, that was something that was really important. Like, I don't want to... I want to invest in these things, but I don't want to go broke. So, the price of things are really important. I think a lot of bloggers, they get paid to do like reviews and I wasn't really into that um this is castor oil everyone talks about castor oil and how great it is most people talk about getting something with coconut or another kind of essence in it um but this one was $7.99 so I bought this one it's just a regular Jamaica black Jamaican black castor oil for $7.99 and then I got, of course, shea butter. You can't go wrong with shea butter, according to everyone and their mama. Um, this was $5 for this big tube, so I was really excited about that. And I got these clips, so I'll be able to twist my hair on my own. And then I got some rods. I don't know if I'll ever use them, but <laughs> apparently I may want to rod up my hair one day to give myself like a more like swirly um, curl don't know how to use these but maybe after watching someone's video blog I'll figure it out and um I also met up with um Alexis who is a former Radio Ricky Radio Ricky's for anyone that doesn't know is a program at a WNYC that teaches young people how to tell their own radio stories I was a Radio Ricky and turned producer on the program and Alexis also was a Radio Ricky and she's going to school for journalism yay um, at Boston University, and she, through watching my videos, um, suggested a concoction that she makes. And I actually interviewed her about it and asked her what was in it. So hopefully I could put that right at this moment. Yeah. All right, so you have something for me. This is my super awesome special hair oil pomade thing <laughs> that I made in my knockoff magic bullet blender. <laughs> awesome. And what's, what's in it? In it is shea butter, coconut oil, vitamin E oil, jojoba oil, and some lavender and mint essence. And how did you come up with it? Um, well, there's a natural hair vlogger that I watch, Naturally 85. I watch her! Really and like she did um, one about a shea butter cream that she makes and then usually I always use like um, like coconut oil and vitamin E oil so I'm like oh like why not mix it into like mix all that stuff together and then she also put some essence in it to make it smell good it does smell really good and after that she took me to Sephora so I was complaining to her about not um, feeling like my foundation didn't really cover that much so we went to Sephora and also the main reason we went to Sephora because she had on lipstick that I was really really into and as you guys can see I have on lipstick I don't wear a lipstick a lot um I usually wear like a lip gloss or something that 
blistics is pretty much blistic is usually my 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 game or like and then i'll have like a little shine but um so as you can see i have on lipstick i got that with her today this is a sephora brand and it's called rouge shine so i picked this up and then I, she also um is a big advocate for clinique stuff and i was telling her i wanted a foundation that covered a little bit more so she suggested a primer and the clinique this is a sephora primer um base ultra last uh, perfect primer i don't know ultra smoothing primer and then this is clinique's even better um and apparently this also gets rid of dark spots and so this young woman knows like she knew about makeup she knew about natural hair products she knew about so she goes to school for journalism like i mentioned and so i was also telling her how i had this idea for another um a web series and uh, I was thinking about getting a camera. She gave me advice on a camera, on lighting. <sighs> this young woman knows so much about so much. And I think that's one of the biggest lessons I walked away with today. It's like how big, how inspiration can really come from anywhere. And how you can learn from anyone. Because a lot of times, like, I've been debating whether I want to go back to school and, you know, like, to do this video blog, that I, this video web series that I have in mind... I've been thinking about it for a very long time and like I'm like well maybe I should go back to school and kind of you know get the get the 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 resources to get this done and you know based on professors based on the free labor for my co-classmates or whatever and you know today I really realized that I just need to do it if that's something that I that I've been thinking about and it is something I've been thinking about for a while I should just do it so um yeah, so she made me, she really inspired me to like, A, I'm going to go get a camera, B, I'm going to get lights, I need a lavalier, because I think lighting and sound is so important. Like, that's how um, I think the work that I love watching are usually ones that are really well done, and the difference between me sitting here in front of my Mac and just talking to you guys and actually having a camera that can give me good sound, that can give me, that can provide a clear, good picture that's those are the difference like putting the effort and just doing it um oh i forgot to mention the free gift that sephora gave us um it's an eyeshadow pri primer and um again alexis recommended there were like three different options and she's like you should get that one and then the lady gave her one too so it was a win-win for us both um so yeah, so today was filled with a lot of spending of money, but I'm going to look at all this like an investment in me. <sighs> and then once I start, because um, also I think, you know, when you do have natural hair, it's even more important to take care of every part of you. It's even more important to take care of your skin, to, to wear makeup, to make sure that your other features are popping because they're that much more defined. Um, so that's kind of the investment that I embarked on today but that's it <laughs> no more um so I don't know if I have a question for today I think just the inspiration that I'm feeling right now I definitely want to share it I think that um you know you don't know where you're going to be inspired and who you can learn from I don't take any relationship for granted and I think that that's one of the things that I'm that has taken, that will always take me far, if that makes sense, right? I think that you should never take for granted any relationship. And when I say I learned so much from this girl, like, she gave me links. She, she offered her Prime um, Amazon Primer so I could get things in two days. Like, she's just, I just can't wait. Whoever gets, first of all, relationship-wise, whoever gets with her is set. Like, <laughs> she's a scene. She can cook. She says she cleans. Like, yeah, I want to. I want her to, to move in with me. Like, she's mad cool. So, um, yay, Alexis. Thank you for being amazing and for, like, giving me all the advice that you did today. Um, so, I'm trying to think of a question to kind of, like, end things off like I usually do. I didn't have a question in the last one. It was just me talking. It went up to 13 minutes. So actually, this one was a lot more efficient. Um, but I'm proud of myself to actually re-recording this. So what will be my question? I don't know. It's a lot. 
It's a lot I covered today. Uh, I don't really want to talk about hair anymore. <laughs> I'm done with the whole hair thing. I think I'm going to just like catch up with you guys later and tell you after like a month how everything is going. It's just exhausting. It just feels like it's going to take, if I try to, if I go down this path, it's like a winding road into like obsession land and I don't want to be obsessed with this. Um, so I promise that this is probably going to be the last one for a little bit, but we'll see <laughs> tomorrow. Um, so my question, question, I don't know. Have you ever been inspired by someone? Are you, do you want, okay, here we go. Do you want this to be the last hair vlog? Like, are you guys getting anything out of me talking about hair? Uh, me specifically, not an expert. Um, don't really know what I'm doing. Definitely all about advice. Um, is that beneficial to you? So that's the question. Let me know. And um, yeah, peace out. <laughs>